As a console with an ever-growing library, you can rest assured that the PS4's free games are pretty comprehensive in their scope. If you don't have the cash to spare on the new big thing, there's nothing wrong with picking up a free game to tide you over, just as long as you don't fall down the rabbit hole of microtransactions. The conversation about free-to-play games is shifting, if only slightly. Games like Fortnite have proven that you can have a pretty compelling game without making your wallet feel lighter, even if they've tried to sell Peely to us three times now. Seriously, what's the big deal with his skin? Why do... Sorry, I just got lost in his, in his eyes. Free console games tend to go down the cosmetic microtransaction routes, which sadly can't be said for smartphone games. If they released a Harry Potter game on the PlayStation 4 you had to pay to save a child, that might not go down well. Rest assured, you can play all of these without necessarily having to put a single penny in. With that in mind, if you're bankrupt from buying every edition of Bubsby the Woolly Strike Back imaginable, or just want something new to download, here's a sample of the best free games on the PlayStation 4. Number 10. Never Winter. Never Winter? I never even met her! <laughs> as far as MMORPG games go, Neverwinter just may be the perfect entry point. It isn't overbearingly robust in its systems or just a lazy PC port, which means that it's one of the MMO titles on the console that you can simply pick it up and play it without having to consult several mystical tomes. Despite being free, it isn't afraid of doling out tons of content either. It has all of the expansions previously available on PC ready from the moment that you start the game. However, it is worth mentioning that you will hit a paywall eventually to make less grindy progress, but as it's just a game that you can dip in and out of occasionally, it's not that big of a deal breaker. 9. Brawlhalla In a sea of Smash clones, Brawlhalla is one that doesn't come anywhere close to matching Nintendo's franchise, but it's still some fun all the same. If you don't want to dust off the GameCube and search around the attic for your wave birds for a round of melee, Brawlhalla is a PS4 free-to-play brawler that's worth checking out for your social nights. Featuring an absolutely gigantic roster of characters, Brawlhalla's main method of monetization is to offer characters for free in a weekly rotation and then nudge players towards the game's shop to buy more. It's a pretty fair model, though you can also buy extra skins for your characters if you're so inclined, Brawlhalla is lightweight fun, but not ideal if you're playing against friends with bad tempers if you're just going to cheese them off the map. Plus, it's the last place you can see Rayman these days. Ah, <sighs> my elbowless babe, we will be together again soon. 8. Dauntless Few first-time developers could hope for the success that Dauntless received at launch. Well, they're technically not first-timers. Phoenix Labs consists of some of the most decorated names in the business who have previously worked at the likes of Bioware, Blizzard, and Capcom. That experience truly shines through. While the simple elevator pitch of Fortnite meets Monster Hunter has been parroted to the point of you feeling nauseated, don't sleep on Dauntless. It's a hugely fun time with or without you investing your hard-earned money into it, and it's only really just getting started at this time of recording. Plus, if you want a free PS4 game that you can also play with your PC and Xbox One pals, you're in luck thanks to its crossplay. 7. Smite Without doubt the best option for a MOBA on console, especially now that Paragon has gone the way of the Dodo, ironically it probably wasn't helped by another game on this list taking up all of Epic's attention. Smite is a great entry level MOBA, but your enjoyment of it will ultimately be determined by how open you are to the genre overall. It's a huge battle of gods from different pantheons of mythology, all rationalised by defending towers. Smite is a silly concept that will lure you in with a steep learning curve that's enjoyable to climb up with a pretty dedicated community to support and berate you at once. Just ask our gaming editor Ash, who ventures off occasionally on Smite grinds, returning a far smellier and gruntier man, having disappeared for weeks. 6. Paladins I searched the depths of my brain and tried to find a door to lock the Overwatch comparisons behind, but it's impossible. Paladins is always going to be unofficially married to Blizzard's monolith in one way or another. It's not hard to see why that's the case either. Sharing more than a few strands of DNA with Overwatch, Paladins is affectionately dubbed the peasant version of the hero shooter. So basically, it's like the supermarket crisps compared to the real deal from the big boys. But deep down, we know who will eat that sh** up regardless. 
While the step down in quality is noticeable, particularly in the vibrancy of its art style, Paladin still has tight shooting and an emphasis on teamwork that's worth checking out, if only to figure out which Overwatch characters they were inspired by with their roster. 5. The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirit Compared to the other entries on this list of the best free PS4 games, The Awesome Adventures has no strings attached. There are no microtransactions or loot boxes at all, just a simple narrative told well for the grand price of nothing. Honestly, not many publishers and developers would give away a well-realised game entirely for free, so credit has to go to Square Enix and don't nod. However, Captain Spirit doesn't cut any corners that you might expect. While it's certainly short, it packs a punch over its three hours of gameplay and hints at what's to come in the rest of the Life as Strange universe. Imagination is the aim of the game in Captain Spirit as you play a young boy who seeks to escape recent trauma. Something all of us would do if we could. Like the trauma of putting loads of effort into these videos and no bastards watching them. Oh, we see you. We see you. 4. Destiny 2 Free from the clutches of Activision, Bungie have been hard at work on turning the Destiny 2 ship around. While the initial response to the game was good, a lack of content and familiarity meant that the game didn't exactly soar. Now they're on their own, Bungie are putting their players first. One of the first things they did was release New Light, a free-to-start version of the game that actually gives you a ton of content. Missions, Strikes, Gambit, and much more are all available as part of the free version, and while the time may eventually arrive where you feel like you need to pay to unlock more, Destiny 2's low price means that you get your money's worth. If you're not immediately swayed, give it some time. Destiny 2 is one of those games where it creeps up on you and oh no, I haven't been to work in weeks, my wife left me for my brother, oh well, back to the raid! 3. Warframe the perfect example of how you can pull your struggling game back from the brink, Warframe is a constantly updating and evolving online RPG where the main aim is to look sassier than all of the other cyborg ninjas. It's basically one long fashion show, but there's a lot of content to distract you from looking like the baddest in all of the galaxy. However, it's absolutely worth mentioning the Warframe grind. You won't feel compelled at all to open your wallet for the game for its early goings, but it does reach a point where it just seems to be mandatory after dozens of hours. A shame, but that's still dozens of hours of spacefaring nonsense that could quite easily engulf your life for free. With it still reporting strong player figures and increasingly more content, Warframe is in the frame to see fame as the best free PS4 game. Dame. 2. Apex Legends The game that finally woke Epic from their inertia. Apex Legends has created plenty of competition for Fortnite and Co. since it launched as a free PS4 game. It's been a roaring success, going on to reach 25 million players in just under a week and being the talk of the town over on Twitch. Its longevity has come into question a few times, but with constant updates on the way and that one more match appeal, it has definitely lasted the distance, especially with it now being in its fourth season and still bringing in plenty of invested players. A squad-based battle royale that has plenty in common with the likes of Overwatch, Apex Legends has a ton of little innovations, pinging, respawning, that make it feel completely fresh despite the genre being a little overexposed. Even those tired of battle royales in general have found something to love in Apex Legends, and its outlook for the future is looking very bright indeed. Now, if Respawn could just sort out the code leaf nonsense after an entire year, that would be very cool. And number one, Fortnite Battle Royale. Why are you booing me? I am right! A game so maddeningly addictive that it's probably on the state of Hawaii's watch list, Fortnite is arguably the biggest thing in gaming right now. And it's completely free unless you desperately need to dress up as a dinosaur to unleash your inner Jurassic Park. While its premium skins are certainly on the premium side, none of the microtransactions in the game will affect gameplay in a noticeable way. In fact, depending on the skin you choose, you may end up sticking out like a sore thumb on the battlefield. You can even build your own modes in the game's creative mode, so it's kinda two games in one. Kinda. If you're yet to see what all the fuss is about, you may as well dive in and then dive right back out when you realise all teenagers in the world are better than it than you will ever be. 
As a bonus, the game Save the World mode will also go free sometime soon. And there you have it, that's our 10, that's our list of the best PSVR games that are going right now. Did you agree with the list? If so, let us know in the comments down below. If there's anything you think we missed out and should have put in, please let us know all the same. But as ever, if you like the video, please do consider hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel for more lists, videos and all sorts of news across the YouTube and the social media options and website which you can see on screen now and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. So until then, until then, caca. Lumps online, that's me. Um, please don't laugh, I'm not, I'm not very good at the game. But we'll see you in the next video and until then, until then, caca.